Hey guys, Flying Dutch here. Welcome back to France in La Résistance, the preview that will uh, release the La Résistance on the 25th of February in 2020. A couple of days left. I think this video will get uploaded on the 23rd, so two more days until it gets released. And let's uh, keep playing our run here to get a monarchist France and get our stuff done. And yeah, we have nothing to do. We are waiting for our focuses to complete. We are training a bit of our fleet so we get a bit more naval experience. Uh, they are getting to their regular stuff soon, so that's good. And do we have a bit more ships in the reserve? No. How are our ships doing? Early cruiser is uh, getting worked on pretty quickly. In November, we get him uh, ready to join uh, the strike fleet, I think. Yeah. I don't think I need more spotters. We will stay in the Mediterranean. We, n we will never be able to fight the British or the USA fleet. But the Italians, I think we can beat. There we go. We did the passive defense uh, bonus. And we now have a counter intelligence 2.75. It's way too much for this part of the game, but oh well. And um, we are now recruiting another operative in 30 days. Then we have our second one. I think I'm going to put that one in Belgium. Because I think we will go to war with Belgium as our first target. And then I can show you why it is so nice to have a spy network there when you attack them. Gives you some nice bonuses. We don't have to do the rally the leagues uh, thing. Uh, we are not going to withdraw because our fleet is not strong enough. Why would we? And no anti-communist stuff because we lose stability and that is way too much. There we go. And the, the Spanish civilian war, uh, civil war did not start yet. I wonder when it's going to uh, to happen. Let's train some more stuff, actually. Can we train our strike force here? How much fuel is this going to take me? Uh, okay. Maybe we should not do this. <laughs> I mean, we are getting our Navy, Navy experience in. <laughs> that, that is uh, crazy. Uh, excavation... Can be nice. Basic fire control. We don't have any production that we can do here, so oh yeah, we still need to get these things. Okay, let's get the excavation because we have the room for it. It's all 1938, 1938. How do we get more mountaineers? How do we raise the limit of this? I don't know where that technology is. Is it over here somewhere? This one? No. It's not over here. I think. Or I'm blind. Now I wonder, should we just start on our naval focuses a bit? I mean... I'm not really keen on these things. They are these are the best. These are the most important for our our armies. We don't need more tanks. We did. No, we can do this one first because it's an upgrade. There we go. We did the revise the constitution. This gives us uh, weekly stability plus 0.2 for one whole year. And when that is done, we can do this one. So, we have one year to work on our economy now. And I will. So, first things first. We have to do stuff over here. We want to get a research slot. Uh, we will devalue the franc. We get less consumer goods factories so we can build up a bit quicker. On the other hand, there is also a tree over here, I think. Yeah. 
We can get National Spirit Agricultural Protectionism. For the rest of the game, I think. We can build Civilian Factory 7.5% quicker. Or we get Research Bones for Industry. But I think I will go for that one. Hmm. We don't need the stability. This one is really nice. There are really some really nice things we can do. Let's just uh, start with devaluating the Frank. The f yeah, the Frank. And then... Invest in our colonies for some factories. I think I think that's the better thing to do at this point in the game. Just keep building these uh, beautiful civilian factories. I want to keep a spot available in those states so I can build a refinery everywhere. Now you have a bit of command power. Do my naval leaders have some some uh, yeah they still need their upgrades so let's do this oh first we get our uh, operator so we did our wait a minute chance of recruiting an operative with the commando trade I don't see a commando trade. Or am I blind? No? No, I don't see it. So I don't know what that one, that option is then. But we gotta get our second uh, operative. Uh, we can do tough. Or the safe crackers. Yeah, we're not going to infiltrate the army, navy, civilian, or the air force. We don't. I don't need that information. Uh, capturing an enemy code book or acquiring it by other means would give our code breakers a decisive advantage in their efforts. A coup and a strike. If we move our assets into place, we can ensure that this one blows strike where it can do the most. I think this is good when you are at war. Let's get... Let's get Marianne. We can do some... Uh, blueprint stuff. Uh, you are not doing counterintelligence because we have our defensive stuff. You are going to build a spy network in Belgium. We can do these operations now. Uh, infiltrate the uh, civilization administration. If you click on prepare, you get you need to select your operatives, both of them, and then you get a nice uh, nice story here that they will come shore by the submarines. And this is just some flavor. This is do doesn't do anything. This whole text thing. It's just very funny uh, in my opinion. And then you will receive civilization infiltration in German Reich. Outlook is good. When you click on these operatives, then uh, it's getting even better. But let's try to get some blueprints from them when we can. We're not going to infiltrate. We have a uh, guy that is good at stealing blueprints, so let's try to do something like that when we can. Now there's another button still that we didn't talk about, and that's the last thing, then you know... Almost everything. Of course not what every uh, operation is doing. That is the become spy master button. Uh, you can become a spy master. When you are in a faction. And the size of your faction is very high. And when you are a spy master. Then you can get even more operatives. And that's the whole thing I think. So We will not become a spy master I think. Maybe at the end of the game. So we have almost 100% uh, spy network in Germany. Let's see what this is doing for us. So, a 100% spy network is giving 15% extra intel. Except for here, it's 17 and 10 here. So, I don't know what that exactly is uh, working with the numbers. 
But it gives a decent... Uh, how do you call it? Edge. That you can see a bit more. Like we cannot see any intel about the army still. Even with a full network. Maybe if I put two spies uh, we get double the intel network. And then we can see their equipment and stuff. We can see estimates of, our na of their navy. We can beat this. And so on. Now, are you at 100? Yes. Now, so she is not doing anything anymore here. And I wish that the built intel network would go automatically to quiet network. Because you have less chance to get caught when you do this, I think. Yeah, there's less risk of detection. This should go there automatically when you are at 100 in my opinion, but you have to do it yourself. And uh, not gonna do the propaganda stuff here. Root out control. No, no, no. And these are the options. Infiltrate civilian administration. Capture a cipher. Now, what is this doing? And we know what the infiltration do does. You get more intel about the civilian, army, navy and air force. But what does a capture cyber do? It's very risky. Yes. But if I put my cyber guy here. Commando. She's learning the commando trade. Hmm. And we do this. It's still very risky. So I'm not going to do it. Oh, we get decryption against the German Reich, 10%. And that's it? Meh. That's it? Alien stuff. Yeah. I'm not very keen on that, actually. No. And there we go. The civil war happened in Spain. This is totally reworked. Uh, I guess there will be a lot of other YouTubers and Twitch streams that will cover the whole uh, civilian war in Spain. But this is totally changed. There will be a uh, four-sized battle sometimes. These are the nationalists. That's still the same. Well, they have José San Jorge, I think. If my great Spanish pronunciation. Not... Um, oh my god, I forgot the name of the, the Spanish dictator, Franco. And we have still... Uh, normal Spain. How is this one called? R Republican Spain. We're also going to get the Carlists, who are also the Monarchists, in my opinion, and the uh, Council of Aragon here. I don't know exactly what their deal is still, but you, you can get four factions here, and it's always different who wins, which is fantastic. Uh, we cannot help any of these uh, factions over here, because we cannot send volunteers as a democratic party, when there is only... 0% world tension. Whoa, we still have only 0%. We need 50%. Oh, and we are out of oil, so we will stop training. Stop training. Okay, at least they are all at... Uh, trained. Almost all at trained. Some need to repair. I will make sure that they are at uh, regular before they will start fighting. I think it's very, very important. What I also need to do is uh, my submarines here. They should, uh, re they should detach. Enable automatic reinforcement. Yes, so they got 10 out of 10. When one dies, we get one of the reserve. And they need to split off when something is damaged. Repair priority high. Yeah, I would say so. And medium risk. If you go at uh, high risk, it's really stupid. Then they are suiciding. Well, this is full suicide. If you do the low risk, they will only do convoy raiding. Medium risk, they will also try to um, fight the bigger enemy ships when there is a gap in the screening forces. I think I think that is how it worked. works. So I'm going to keep them at medium. These ones should never engage, yes. Always repair. You should not uh, split off. And you also don't have to reinforce. Well, is it true? 
Maybe they should reinforce. Meh. Okay, we have the uh, devalue the franc. And we have the remilitarization of the Rhineland. Germany did it, guys. And we will let them do it. Because we cannot do this one. We don't want to lose our political power and stability. So. Rip. So, we still have to wait for this one for a long time. So we will continue our uh, economy. Develop the metropole. We only get some stability and that's it. But we need to get to these branches as quickly as we can. We can also do the colonies first. I mean, they get a bit more compliance. Uh, what am I going to do first? Metropole or colonies? I, th I guess we just stay in France for now. Alright, what is your next focus? The Hermann Göring Werke. Still nothing happening. What is uh, Great Britain doing this run? I guess they are going to stay on the uh, democratic path, which is fantastic. In Italy, we don't know. We can also focus on Italy with a spy, but I think it's alright like this. But yeah, the fuel is going to be a huge problem. And we cannot go to war before 1939, mid-1939. It's one big issue. It is just terrible. I could change my templates of my ships. Now, since we have so much in the queue that still needs to be built, there's no reason for us to do this. Because these things need to get built before we can change our ships. Because they also need they need naval dockyards to change the template. So we will just build all of these things first. And then we are going to change our ships. And before that we are not going to do anything. With our naval power. Naval experience. Uh, we have a bit more command power. Let's see if I can... Get some upgrades. Yeah, you could get an upgrade. Organization or charismatic. You are the one... In Sardinia. Nah, let's get that one I guess. That was it. The one in Africa can get a trade as well. Unyielding defender. Defense plus 10%. And you have more entrenchment as well. And the, entren and the max entrenchment plus 30%. Now, that is a great general Attention. for this one. And you don't have that right now, do you? You have only trickster. I'm going to get this guy. No. Maxime Wegand. Well, he is a field marshal, but still. Uh, Maxime Wegand, you are going to this army. There we go. Attention. You just get another one. But you are very good for this uh, this front here. Because you have more entrenchment and even more here. Which is fantastic for the Marginal line. It's very defensible now. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 provinces here. Maybe we should get 14 troops. 14 good troops. Yeah. And the rest of you. I guess it's going to be in a different army. And make a front line with Spain for now. Yeah, we need those at Belgium. When we go to Belgium. But for now, this is fine. I think I like this. Oh yeah, we need a couple... One, two, three. Then we have 
14 at the border here. And that should be enough with all those bonuses. At least that is what, is I, what I'm aiming for. We will see in the future. Uh, more decisions, improved work conditions, no. No and no. No and no. We need our points for our uh, army doctrine guy. We need army experience. We need to change our templates. Okay, that is also fine. It's 1937 now. So we go for the next industry branches. All of it. Attention. Infantry leader is a really good. I'm gonna get you here. Écoutez. I think I have the right leaders now at the right spots. I mean, you have no no Panzer bonus or whatever. Yeah, you do, right? Where is it? No, you don't. Oh, we don't have enough power. I don't know about all these. Uh... Okay, you are my mountaineer guy with four mountaineer troops. I guess that is the best thing to do. Attention. You are just a small one. For the island. Yeah, I think we are having the right uh, the right setup now. At least I'm gonna stick with it. But this fuel thing is gonna be a huge, huge, huge problem for us. We need to build fuel refineries. We don't have any fuel in our country. Not even in Indochina. Now we do have some oil in Italy. Oh no. But I thought there was oil here. I think they get an event or a decision, then they get free oil. Um, I think we have some decisions too for oil. No, we don't. No. Of course, there's a lot of oil in uh, source map mode. Over here. And over here. We do have the rubber. But yeah, the oil in the Dutch East Indies is fantastic. Now we will get some of the Dutch at some point, but we are not there yet, so... Okay, we did uh, this one, we get only some stability. Uh, we can get more infrastructure, all really nice. Develop the colonies, get more compliance, really nice. Uh, but what we need to do is click this button. Because then we get two civilian factories. In the, st in the metropolitan states previously invested in. So if we get invest in metropolitan France and in Algerian France, then we get four civilian factories. So we need to click this button, this one, and then this one. And then the research slot. But the thing is that we can also continue our political tree, and I think that's more important. But we will see what happens. And should I change the colors here a bit? No, I think it I think it's all fine. I think everything is fine. And we are low at manpower. No wonder. Ooh, employment, minus 25%. Ugh. Terrible. We almost have enough political power to do some stuff. We cannot go and change this one. Because there's not enough war support. We cannot change our economy law. At all. It is absolutely terrible. Uh, what can we do as well? We can get a political advisor. We can get our silent workhorse. But what does 50% do? For... So it, it first adds to 10%. That is 2.2. No. It doesn't. I think. Because then we get 2.2 .2 minus 8. 1.4. Well, it does. Yeah, it, it works like that. So if we get 15% more, then we make actually point... 
6 a day, I think. Because then we get a bonus of 35% before the, ne before the negative modifier. So I think it's still better to get the silent workhorse first. And then we go for the, the, the army theorist. Blitzkrieg? No, we are not going to do the Blitzkrieg. We don't need the armor stuff. He is cheaper though, but we cannot do him because we don't have the focus completed. Naval experience. It's nice as France to get naval experience though. Air experience? No, we are not building any planes at the moment. I think we'll just go for this one after the Silent Workhorse. I think we have no other option. What is Germany doing now? Coal liquidation. He's getting some oil. I'm jealous. What if I Malta? No intel. Still nothing going on really. The Rhineland is the only thing that was the highest world tension. Still fairly calm. There we go. Get the silent workhorse. Yeah, there we go. Plus 0.69. At least we get some political power now. And he will give us a lot of extra political power in this whole game. I think that was the best option. Um, so Japan, can I see your focus? I guess I cannot because you're the empire of Japan. Yeah, Japan is now monarchist. They are not fascist anymore. It's so beautiful. It means that they should like me. They don't. Why not? Different ideology, really? Oh yeah, we are not uh, we are not monarchist yet. What am I thinking? <laughs> we will become monarchist, but that's not uh, not there yet. Mm -hmm. How's the intel doing? Yeah, you just stick there, calmly doing nothing. Keep an eye out for their troops at the border. And their focus. But we can also do... Yeah, we have some sort of coup here. We need 20% support for the Centrum party. The strike here when we are at war. I'm gonna try that strike and see what it does for us. W on Belgium, because that will be the first uh, thing we need to do. And what is the resistant contacts doing? I don't know. The only thing I don't know yet. Sabotage resources. Oh, that sounds great. But yeah, our resources are fine for now. There's tons of steel, chromium. And uh, yeah, we, we should focus on oil and a bit on tungsten. Now, tungsten is a lot in Portugal. Maybe we will go with War of Portugal at some point. What's Portugal doing? You are, what, non-aligned? Looks like it. Oh, communism support? Are you going communist? Interesting. Very interesting. Attention. Okay, you still need a leader in Africa. Get the infantry leader exp uh, experience guy. Oh, and you can still get a trade in Indochina. Um, a bit of defense, maybe. Yeah, that's very defending. There we go. I think I, I think I spend all my command power on all the things I can right now. These all have their upgrades as well. Ah, we have some more ships in the reserve. Let's see what do we have here. The La Galicionaire class of our cruiser. 
who cannot s see any sub visibility. Oh no, that's not true. You are focusing on just everything, and that's fine. You're gonna screen the heavy ships. Okay, we did uh, this one. So we can now add two civilian factories in Brittany and Alsace-Lorraine. So we get four more. But if we do Algerian France, we get those there as well. So we get eight civilian factories, not, not four. We get eight. That will steamroll our economy a little bit. So let's go for those two focuses. Hopefully we can get the research slot. And then we will prepare for the first things for the monarch. It's going to be very interesting. Alright guys, that's going to be the end for this episode. Another 30 minutes episode and I will cut them off. So thanks for watching. Please like the video. You should always try to like my videos. Better for the YouTube research uh, uh, results. And tell me what you think about the game. And if you have any tips and tricks, you can also give them to me. And I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye bye.